good morning everyone it's sunday i'm not going anywhere today but i did get sort of semi dress don't have my hair on just edited our last video from la i know i'm super late it has the fourth of july on it and whatever but i still want to get it up for you guys anyway like i said today is sunday my last day of freedom before i go back to work and y'all don't get me wrong don't be like girl you knew it had to go to work or millions of other people were still working i know i get that and so i'm not upset that i have to go back to work i knew it had to happen i could have possibly been one of the workers that was considered essential if i was in one of those fields so you know this would have never happened i would have never had an opportunity to stay home but you guys i have enjoyed being at home and just being like a lady of leisure and waking up when I wanted to, not to an alarm clock and stuff like that. So the real world starts tomorrow. Anyway, I am going to do these dishes. It's not very much, but do the dishes, clean the countertop. And so it's not that bad, but I'm going to clean and then put the air fryer away because I don't plan on using it today. So yeah, let's get all this clean, you guys, because this is a mess. All right, kitchen is all clean. That's just gonna live right there right now. That's my air humidifier because that's just where I put it. But yeah, all done. And in case you were wondering, I don't know if you were wondering, the paint is still doing good. And I put the air fryer up there next to the rice cooker for now because I don't want it on my countertops. And Tyreek and Andy did pick up their air fryer yesterday. So when Tyreek and Annie came over, and if you guys don't know who Annie is, Annie is Tyreek's wife. So she made some jam. So this is spicy mango, and then this is spicy ginger peach jam. Looks like it, what it says. I tasted this one, it's really good. I have not tasted this one yet. But I'm going to make a pancake, and I'm doing it old school, like country. I am going to put some of this spicy mango jam on top of my pancake and see how it tastes. All right, you guys, so I have my breakfast, but it's actually lunch right here. So I just have one pancake and I put the spicy ginger peach jam on there. And I'm just gonna eat that. One fried egg, a grilled chicken um, patty. I know, kind of like a weird breakfast. And then I have my coffee here. And yeah, you guys, I have a problem. Good morning. It is Monday. Y'all know what time it is. And I got the dress down today because I don't know if I told you guys this part of it, me going back to work, but the, some people have already been there. They're bringing us back in increments, in phases as well. So today is not really going to be anything for me. Basically, a like an in service day for them to tell us who are starting back today the new rules and how they want us to handle things and stuff like that and of course we have to wear our mask I have my mask um, and they said it's only gonna be from 9 to 1 today I don't know we'll see uh, where's this okay yeah they said I'm gonna be there from 9 to 1 today but We'll see. Because that can change once I get there. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to show you what I got in the mail. And I got this from my friend Carol, Carol's Brain, on YouTube as well. But she has an Etsy shop and she makes these masks. So cute. And yeah, it's just princess mask. And I tried them on already and it looks really good on me I like it anyway and this is the bag that it comes in and she also gives these little filters that, that you can choose to use if you like and her card Carol's brain so this is what she gives face mask care instructions and then thank you for her for your purchase and if you guys want to pause it and see where you can find her to find not only these not only masks, but different things. She has different styles of masks and she sells a lot of different things on her Etsy account. So yeah, you guys go check her out. And once again, thank you, Carol. I can't wait to use these. Good morning, it is Tuesday. I am ready for work. Yes, I'm going even though I have my Disney t-shirt on. 
it's another day of not really doing a whole lot. I'm only working four hours a day right now, um, and I, I'm okay with that. So nine to one, and then they're staggering other people from like 12 to four, stuff like that. That way everyone's not there at the same time. So they are taking precautions that way. And no one is sitting next to each other like in our desks. I hear music. It's probably Hamilton playing in Savannah's room. Anyway, um, and we're wearing our masks, so you know they're being cautious like that. And from what my mom said in Southern California, they're talking about closing things down again because of the rise in the virus, like the theme parks, um, the ones that are open. I don't even think anything's open back up or it's about to I don't know whatever but they're talking about closing down non-essential places again like the church when the church barely just got open and we haven't started going back to church because you guys know we don't have our own church building yet we're having church out of a hotel but because of everything that's going on the hotel said not right now not till 2021 so my pastor is actually in the process of looking for a building that way we can, <clears throat> I mean, we, we have to listen to the laws, of course, but when they do open, we're able to, is that my phone? When we do open, we're able to have church and, you know, go. So anyway, that's in the works. That actually may happen really soon. Um, but I know I didn't come on yesterday and tell you guys about my first day back at work. It went okay. I mean, I was only there four hours. It's no big deal. The hardest part was getting up, getting dressed, and getting out the house. But once I got there, it was okay, you know, talking to everyone again and, you know, just catching up on what we've been through and, you know, things like that. So that was okay. But you guys, so I am such, hold on, my battery's flashing. I'm such a fan of Hamilton. And yes, I know I'm like so far behind jumping on the bandwagon because this has been going on for a while. But anyway, so it came on Disney Plus on July 3rd, I believe. And July 3rd, I was still at my mom's house. So when we came back to Sacramento that Monday after the 4th of July, Savannah and I watched it. Mind you, it's a two and a half hour play. And I fell in love. And I'm not kidding you guys. Ever since then, we've been watching it every single day, sometimes twice a day. Um, yes, it's a two and a half hour play. And knowing the songs, knowing when this person comes in to sing this, whatever. And yeah, just a little bit of an obsession, but it's not unhealthy because I still get my housework done and I still get the things I need done. But yeah, just a little bit of obsession with the play Hamilton. Remember I told you guys that they've been bringing us back in increments. So people have been back at work before I got back yesterday. So there's a part in Hamilton and spoiler alert where, um, and he's one of my favorite characters. His name is David Diggs. He plays Lafayette and also Thomas Jefferson. So he's Thomas Jefferson now and he comes back from France. He's singing a song, What Did I Miss? And I don't know, it's just, I, I love his character. So I'm thinking, I told Savannah, I said, when I go back to work tomorrow, that was on Sunday, I said, you know, I'm gonna walk in and be like, so what did I miss? And we started laughing and cracking up, but of course, you know, no one knew what I was talking about when I did say, what did I miss? So. Have you guys seen Hamilton? What do you think of it? Are you obsessed with it as I am? I know some people are probably like, oh, that's old news, whatever. Yeah, it's good, whatever. But we're just now seeing it, so it's, it's it's amazing and if you guys have Disney Plus check it out like I said it is a long play there's an intermission <laughs> in the middle but it's only like for a minute so just be prepared to sit down and I'm actually glad I turned the first time I watched it I turned the well, we always have our closed caption on we just do that's just how we are and I'm glad I had it on especially that first time because I was able to actually read and find out what's going on because if I didn't have that on, I think I'd probably be lost in the play. So yeah, they stuck pretty close to historical events and of course some things are thrown in for, you know, just effect and that's to be understood. But yeah, you guys check it out. Anyway, what time is it? Can you get to work at 8.30? <laughs> 
it's 807 good morning it is Thursday is it Thursday yes it's Thursday and I'm on my way to work so you guys so they have given us these masks to wear and this just the black one and I can't show you the other side because it has the company name on it logo on it but look how small these are I really don't like it and when I put it on it like folds my ear so I don't even use that one I just use the one I got from Carol and actually everyone loves it and they keep asking me where did you get it it's super cute so I've sent like three people over to your Etsy shop Carol hopefully they do buy some but yeah I just wear this one and I have the filter that's inside and there you go it's much cuter much more comfortable than this one I mean look at the difference in size this is like for a kid so I don't even use that one and they're like why are you not using it you, you know that's the company one um, it's ugly number one you have the logo on it number two and number three it's meant for a kid good morning everyone it is Saturday and just wanted to tell you guys a little story really quick what just happened so I'm waiting on the package right and my doorbell rings actually it's only 9 30 right now so I'm thinking okay it came early so I go to the door and you know FedEx usually by the time you get to the door they're in their car and gone so I see it on my doormat okay Boston was whining to go out anyway so I go to the door and open grab the package thinking that it was mine right and I'm the type to wear I've been the adult in the house for so long I think everything is mine so I didn't look at the name so I opened it and there's this flimsy little check and I'm only showing the back of it because the front of it actually has Savannah's name and our address so um, she still sleeps so she doesn't even know any of this happened yet so anyway I'm like why is this credit union of course the check looks legit but it's not I'm not stupid you guys so if you think you know where I'm going um, you don't know, it's a total scam so anyway it has Savannah's name on it our address and that's it just a check inside of the envelope to look legit right I've had checks mailed to me in the past from like my job that came from a courier or either um, through FedEx so okay they're trying to use that right so the check is for three thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars too good to be true right so I know it's a scam and I'm thinking I'll just rip it up and I'll tell her what happened so I'm thinking I'm like mm, no you know it is in her name so let me at least let her know what happened but of course we're not gonna cash this check the bank is CES credit union in Mount Vernon and I Googled the number and I called and I told the lady, I said, hey, I just want to let you guys know, I'm sure it's a scam, but, and I told her what's going on and she asked me, it's everything that's on the check and I told her what signature is on it and, you know, what was it about and stuff like that and she said, that's a huge scam they're trying to get a hold of right now. She said, no, they did not send this check, which, duh, we already knew. And she actually asked me to mail it to her because they can't get an actual check because people get these checks because they get it through FedEx. They think it's legit and they go to cash it. So she says what happens is when they go to cash the check, when they the bank scans it, that person has all of that person's banking account, routing number, everything. So they take that information and they purchase things in like another state or whatever and totally, you know, ruin that person's credit and stuff like that. She asked me, she said, if you don't mind, you know, can you mail that check to us so we can see because they've never actually had one. And I told them, yeah. And so she gave me the address and as she was giving me the address, I'm looking at the check and I'm like, wow, that is the address that's on the check. So they are trying to make this look as legit as possible. And I wish I could show you this, but like I said, it's, it even has like a watermark that's on it and everything. And yeah, it really looks legit, but it's not because you're not expecting $3,980. So yeah, and she said what they're doing is they're targeting 
young people between the ages of 18 and 21 <clears throat> and then elderly people so yeah i mean i'm glad i intercepted this um no i don't usually open up my kids mail it's just that because i thought it was a cert not a certified letter but i actually have something coming today and i'm excited about it and when i got it in the little let me cover this up when i got it in this i actually thought that's weird why would they put it you know in an envelope type thing it's a package but i'm thinking well maybe they did it and actually what i'm getting you can put it in an envelope if they chose to so yeah you guys if you receive a check which i'm sure most of you know but let your younger people know your elderly people that there is a in the lady that i spoke to on the phone from the bank she said they're calling it the COVID 19 check scam because apparently it's a lot going on so yeah if you get a random check in the mail even if it comes from fedex and it looks official and then everything uh please don't cash it because they are trying to get all your information and basically ruin your financial life So yeah, she's still sleeping. She doesn't even know all this have taken place yet. <clears throat> so I will let her know when she wakes up and then I will mail this back to um, the bank. And yeah, you guys, have you guys ever been a victim of a scam or you feel like you have been close to one and you know, outsmarted the person? So a long time ago, I used to have Metro PCS and the way Metro is, <laughs> if your bill is due on, I don't know, the fifth of the month, if you don't pay it, the sixth of the month, when you wake up, your phone will be shut off. So that's the kind of service I had like years ago. And my phone was on apparently because people were calling me. So I remember specifically, I was out at the car dealership. My kids were younger. I had my three kids with me. So I'm looking at my next car to purchase because I needed something bigger. This was before I got my truck. And I got a call and she said, oh, hi, we have the same name. My name is Michelle. I'm calling from Metro. And she gave me some story and it sounded legit. Trying to focus on, you know, getting the car. I don't even know why I answered my phone if I was out looking for a car. Anyway, there's just a $10 balance on your account. You underpaid by $10. And I was calling to see if I can get your card number so we can run it through. And that way you'll be good to go and your phone won't get shut off because that's how Metro was, right? And I'm thinking, how did I underpay $10? But I'm like, okay, whatever. So I actually literally grabbed my debit card and I was about to give it to her. And then something, and that something was God, and I'm so thankful, stopped me. And I was like, you know what? I'm in the middle of doing something. This doesn't sound right. I paid my bill. So when I get off the phone with you, I'm going to call Metro myself. And of course she, oh no, you know, when, as soon as I hang up the phone, your phone will be shut off. You won't even need to call anybody, whatever. And I said, you know what? I'll take my chances. I'm glad I did that and yes I was young when that happened so they do not that they only target young people but they target people who they think don't have any life experience yet so I can see them targeting you know Savannah's 18 so targeting the really young crowd and then the older people and it's not that the people are dumb they're just I don't know they just that's just the group that they target so anyway yeah have you guys ever been a victim of a scam or something like that you know i hope not but how did that turn out for you or do you know someone who has been a victim of something like this it's sad it's really sad because i don't have much you guys i don't have a lot i don't live in a multi-million dollar home i'm not driving in a bentley i'm not driving in a range rover which that's my dream car one day <laughs> anyway but you know I, I don't have all this money but the things that i have i feel is nice but i worked hard for it and we when people try to scam their way through life nothing comes good from that nothing comes good it just it literally frustrates me it makes me so mad and angry because it's like you know what go work for what you want you know so anyway um that's all i'd say right now it's saturday first week of work went well actually and 
it felt like I didn't go to work at all, not really doing a whole lot. So yeah, now they're talking about shutting everything down again. So I don't know what that means for my job right now. So I don't know, just, I don't know. All right, you guys, so yeah, I look like this because I'm not going anywhere today.